Hello, I'm Homer Simpson. Press the free like button if you believe that Ricochet was booked better under Vince McMahon and not under Triple H. So I heard the news that Ricochet wants to leave the World Wrestling Federation. Thanks to Will No Spray. I'm like, look here, man. Stop being nosy. Mind your own business. Why are you trying to brainwash Ricochet into joining your dead company that's dying every week? It's like, wow, I guess misery loves company by that same logic. But this is why I hate Twitter. This is why I don't own a Twitter page. Because people say the dumbest stuff that's so cringe. They pick the cringiest gifts to describe news, right? So I sometimes go on Twitter to find some news. For example, this news about Ricochet. So I saw a tweet from an all elite wrestling fanboy, a bot account. So this bot account heard the news that Ricochet is leaving to go to all elite fake pro wrestling. And as usual, right on cue, like a typical all elite wrestling, big cock, nut hugging fanboy, he puts all the potential dream matches. Okay, bitch, hmm. you listed five dream matches, right? Um, I think it was Penta, Pack, fucking Swerve Scott, um, Okada, Will Nosprey, of course, Dante Martin, etc. Okay, so you named what? Maybe five people as dream matches, right? Okay. Hmm. What's gonna happen after those dream matches are over? What's next? Right? <laughs> See, people don't think about the long fucking picture. We need to start calling all elite wrestling all elite dream matches. That's all you're good for. Because same thing with Daniel Bryan. Um, people were jugging off to the thought of Omega versus Daniel Bryan. Okay, what has Bryan done since then? That has been very impressive, right? It's like when a underdog wins a world title. Okay, what's next, <laughs> right? You was cheering for him then, but okay, what's next? What's the plan here? All you are thinking about is the match. Okay, four or five dream matches. Okay, what's going to happen after those dream matches are over? What's next for Ricochet on Dynamite? What's, what's this? Wow, bro, what the fuck is next? You'll, you'll think he's going to be an ordinary guy. The moment he checks off all these dream matches, He's going to blend in in that upper mid card. Right on cue. This is not a spoiler. It's a prediction. It's going to happen. Okay, what's going to happen the moment he faces Swerve Scott? All right, Will Ospreay. Okay, what's going to happen weeks later on Dynamite the moment he stops messing with Will Ospreay? What's going to happen? Where are his feuds coming from? Right? Bruh. He sucks on a microphone, so um, what kind of prospects? Where is his upside? Stop jerking off to dream matches. Nobody cares. This is why I call these fanboys of all elite wrestling big cock nut hugging fanboys of all elite wrestling. Because you don't think. You don't think about the bigger picture. Who cares about a five star match against fucking Swerve Scott? Or a fucking Will Ospreay. So, what's next? What's gonna happen next? Right? Um, let's say, I don't know, fucking on July 14th, Dynamite, whatever. Okay, let's say he wrestles, I don't know, Will Ospreay in the main event. Okay, five star match, and it's over. What's next for Ricochet after he loses to Will Ospreay? What's next? You don't think he's going to be boring. Bro, Triple H is a huge fan of Ricochet. Um, To me, I feel like Ricochet has been booked pretty goddamn well. What is Tony Khan going to do with this guy? What? Nothing. Like, what? Ray Phoenix? <laughs> like, what's the big deal here? Like, I, I hate that. Right? That's all you think about is just a thought. 
of Ricochet coming to all elite fake pro wrestling, you think about the potential dream matches with him and, him and fucking Will Ospreay. But you don't think about once that pinfall occurs, what's next for him? Right? You don't think about that. You don't think about the marathon. You think about the sprint. Let's fucking sprint to Ray Phoenix and Ricochet. Let's sprint to Swerve Scott and Ricochet. Let's sprint to Will Ospreay. You ain't patient. You don't think about the bigger picture. What is going to be his character? Um, his promos have not gotten better. Um, what's his upside here? Like what? You think Cobb Man is going to make him a fucking world champion if he can't speak? Look here, bitch. He's not better than Malachi Black. Um, to me, is he better than Pac? When it comes to quality, right? At least Malachi Black can talk. At least Pac-Man can talk. So I'm comparing him to guys who can talk and can also go in the ring. I'm comparing him to people that came from the Black and Gold NXT. Let's be real. The best time we seen Ricochet was in NXT, the Black and Gold brand. So let's compare him to all of the failed current Black and Gold people in AW. If Adam Cole's law has been booked like shit, what shot does Ricochet have? That's crazy. Like, oh my gosh, this is why I'm not on Twitter. People piss me off when it comes to some of the dumb stuff that they say out of reaction. You're not going to care about Ricochet after maybe a month in AEW. Why does Swerve Scott get so over? Right? He came from the World Wrestling Federation. But it was not overnight. He was boring until he got with Prince Nana. Ricochet, he has no manager. Who is going to be his fucking manager? He has no character. No, no fucking nothing. What's his prospect? What's his upside? Nothing. He has no upside in this company. And let's talk about this. This is very ironic. It is crazy ironic. Right? A couple of years ago. People were begging Ricochet to leave the World Wrestling Federation. Let me tell you the irony of Ricochet leaving the World Wrestling Federation to go to all elite wrestling. A couple of years ago, people were begging Ricochet to leave for all elite wrestling because they felt like Vince McMahon was doing him wrong as his booker. Remember, they felt like Vince McMahon was burying Ricochet. Hmm, okay, last time I checked, I thought his savior was Triple H. Hmm, make this make sense. This is like, this is a pat on the back for Vince McMahon. This is one point scored for Vince McMahon as a booker. Um, Vince McMahon, he made Ricochet a two-time champion, US and IC. Okay, oh yeah, actually... He gave him a world title shot against Brock Lesnar. See, y'all forgot that. Hmm? Y'all forgot about that. Vince McMahon, he did right for Ricochet. It's like just you marks. You thought he was AJ Styles. I'm like, bro, he's not AJ Styles. Calm down. He's a Mick Carter. He is a high-flying, bad promo Mick Carter. But he does put on good matches, but... That don't make you a top guy in any company. But let's compare Triple H and Vince McMahon. The same Vince that y'all thought he was burying Ricochet. Hmm, make this make sense. So Ricochet, he leaves the Triple H era. He asks to leave. He told them, you know what, I'm gone after my contract expires, bro. Hmm. How come he never asked for his release under Vince McMahon? How come he resigned during the Vince McMahon regime? But when it comes to the words of Gutha, that was a bad era. Okay, how come Ricochet did not leave during that era? Why did he resign under Vince McMahon but not under Triple H? Right where are all you marks at? Where are you at now? This is fucking validation. The best version 
of Ricochet was under Vince McMahon. That is huge irony. The same man that you thought was burying Ricochet, this man decides to leave under the Triple H era. The same man that signed him in the first place. So who's better? Who's the better booker? Ricochet never left under Vince McMahon, but he chooses to leave under the Triple H era? Wow, that is validation for how good Vince McMahon was. Yes, there's tons of people on that roster that did enjoy how they were booked under Vince McMahon. That is crazy. He leaves Triple H, but he stayed under Vince McMahon's booking. So, you Ricochet fanboys, you look fucking stupid now. <laughs> you look dumb. That is like egg on your face. You was begging for this man to step down. Because you thought this will go better for a Ricochet. Because you thought he was a Triple H guy. Hmm. It turns out he was a Vince McMahon guy all along. And we never knew it. That is crazy. He leaves during the Triple H era. Voluntarily. But he resigned under Vince McMahon. The same man you thought was burying him. Man, that is... You can't make that up. But... What is his prospects in all Ely Wrestling? Listen, he's not going to be that good. He's going to blend in in that mid card. Tony Khan is not going to book him well. Like, where's your evidence? Fuck your dream matches. This is why all Ely Wrestling is going downhill. It's why you can't keep 800,000 viewers anymore. It's the reason you can't keep 900,000 viewers. You live off of matches, but not off of story and fucking promos and gimmicks and storylines. You care about the match. I'm like, who gives a fuck about Dale Bryan and Will Ospreay? We forgot about that match now. Oh, dream match, dream match. Yeah, bitch. Um, what's next? We moved on, <laughs> right? That's what happens after a dream match. We move on and we have to go back into reality. Ricochet has no reality now. After he gets done with his dream matches, it's not all about the dream match. What are your plans for Ricochet moving forward? You have none. Man, he's going to be a failure in all elite wrestling. Man, Ricochet, listen, Ricochet is going to give me so much content. <laughs> like, I'm going to make tons of videos about his failures in all elite wrestling. As facts on facts, it's going to happen. I can't wait. He's going to give me tons of content, and I'm going to capitalize on it. Because he's going to be booked like shit. If Triple H, if you think you ain't booked right under Triple H, the fucking same man who signed you in the first place, what made you think Con Man is going to do any better? Who has he signed from the Black and Go NXT that, that has done right? by his booking nobody this is bad it makes no sense why would you leave sexy ass samantha Irvin all alone on raw are you crazy man listen i think ricochet look man is he bi or something <laughs> he has to be bi or something it's like bruh you got a sexy ass female at your job who's on the same show as you it's like, bro, like, what more can you ask for? Your girlfriend comes to work with you every week. How is that a bad thing? You travel with your girl every week. How is that bad? Now you want to get away from that? That's wild. I didn't expect this. So he's going to leave sexy ass Samantha Irvin all alone. What a shit boyfriend. That's crazy, man. Man, no wonder Tessa Blanchard dumped this guy. That's facts on facts. Good lord, man. But the point is, Ricochet is going to suck in all elite wrestling. And I mean, I'm done.